All right, guys, hi. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm Dorothy, your professional astrologer. So I want to talk about January for the month. And But before I do that, I just want to let you know, if you haven't signed up for my email list, amongst the new people who go to my website, nhastrologer.com, and join my email list for my newsletter of the new people who do that, I am picking three people every month for a 20-minute session free with me. So go to nhastrologer.com and sign up there if you would like to be part of that. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I put up lots of videos every single month and you are notified when they are up. So let's get started. I want to talk about for this month uh, three things because otherwise these videos just get way too long. So I have three things that I've chosen out of the month and there's always a ton more um, that I want to talk to you guys about in the general sense. So I'm going to, give, going to give you that general information right now and the second piece of each video will be where these things are going on and influencing you for each of your zodiac signs. I also like to pull an oracle card or two. I might just do that too for each sign for the month of January. All right, so let me get started with what's going on here. So I got my notes in front of me. It's a big whiteboard. See? <laughs> talking about being authentic. Very important to be authentic right now. It's always important to be our true selves anyways. This is me, I'm not gonna be anybody I'm not. When we live in our own authenticity, we live true to ourselves, you know, the energy, life just flows a whole lot better. And I know that just my own life experience has proven that to myself. So, one of the first things I'm gonna talk about, I'll tell you really quick, Mercury retrograde, I'm gonna talk about that. I'm going to talk about Jupiter retrograde and as it makes its conjunction to the North Node, the Lunar Node, on the day it goes retrograde. And then, um, if I'm not running too long, I'm going to talk about Venus and Sag. Okay, so Mercury. Mercury's retrograde January 7th all the way through January 26th. Now, it starts its retrograde motion in the sign of Aquarius. It will only be at zero degrees of Aquarius, but it will be at that degree for a whole week. And so we're getting to start off a retrograde. Retrogrades, you know, the day that, especially Mercury or any planet, truly, when they go retrograde, the day that they're retrograde, and even the day that they're direct, they're at a standstill from our perspective here on this planet. And, you know, the energy of that just means that, the, that I mean, what it means is nothing's moving. Nothing will move. It's stopped. It's like us when we're in our car. You know, there's that dead stop before we go the next direction. So Mercury tends to be very free-flowing, great for gathering information. It's very lighthearted, very easy, kind of like the butterfly, because we're describing, you know, Mercury and its natural rulership of Gemini. Now, with it in Aquarius, as it goes retrograde, again, being in one degree for a whole week as opposed to a single day, like it usually is, lots of communication issues are just gonna go hit a standstill. And whether this means that, whether it's communication and you know phones just go bad, computers go haywire for a little bit, or uh, if we look at the other aspect of Mercury, uh, transportation and movement, so wherever you live, there could be some weather. You know, I live in the Northern Hemisphere, so I'm looking at, you know, probably, some bad weather that week, just that will keep us home a little more so we're not moving out and about as much, okay? So don't take this as the end of the world by any means, but there will definitely take um, this whole week, especially the first week of January, uh, it'll take a little while for us to get rolling on what this Mercury energy is really wanting to produce. It's not gonna produce much in Aquarius. What it will do when it moves into the sign of Capricorn, somewhere around the 10th, once it moves into the sign of Capricorn, like 29 degrees, 28, it's backing all the way up to the 14 degrees of Capricorn, which is where that those cardinal planets have been, you know, right around 13, 14, 15 degrees for months and years on end, right? And that tells me that we got some more cardinal cross, cardinal T-square things happening, and this is the case. So later in the month, this will take a little while, but on January 20th, Mercury makes a square aspect to Uranus, and then on the 22nd and the 30th, 
um, it conjuncts Pluto. Now, it conjuncts Pluto as a retrograde planet on the 22nd and as a direct planet on the 30th. So what do these two things mean? And I'm going to get to where it is for each of the signs in just a second, so hang on. With Mercury making a square aspect to Uranus, this is communication, especially as a retrograde planet. You know, there's just going to be, we're going to be getting weird emails, we're going to be getting weird messages, we're going to be getting stuff that is just through the roof very different. Now, Aquarius and Uranus, Uranus rules Aquarius, since Mercury started its retrograde in that sign, um, and the planet that is the ruler of gets an aspect from Mercury, you know, we're going to, um, you know, we feel like we need to move and we need to do something. This could be a pretty tricky retrograde this time around. If you have electronics, this is one of the times, because Aquarius rules those things. I would recommend before you, before we go retrograde, so you're going to hear this ahead of time, because I have it up in December. Um, for those of you lucky enough to see it ahead of time, definitely back up your electronics and keep an eye on them, you know, fix things, renew things, do what you need to do to keep things in alignment and up to date. And that's really important. And that's that Mercury square Uranus, all right, January 20th. And we're going to feel that a few days on either side of that date, okay? And that's the day that the sun enters Aquarius as well. So I'm telling you, it's going to be an interesting day on January 20th. There's just going to be a lot of rocking and rolling going on. And, uh, I'll be there to see it too. We'll let we know. We'll let us, each of us know how that happens. Fill me in when you get a chance, if you like. Then on the 22nd and on the 30th, when Mercury does make this conjunction to Pluto, you know, whatever we were doing that went through a major shakeup or just, you know, amazing news. I mean, this can even be amazing news. Don't take shakeups as something that's negative all the time, you know, with that Uranus energy. On the 22nd, when it does conjunct Pluto, there could be very a, a very deep transformation. It's like, okay, so I have this new information. What do I do with it now? All right, what do I do with it now? And this is how we look at it. And on the 22nd, all the way through the 30th, Mercury will just be in conjunction with Pluto that whole time, within a few degrees either side. And so we are changing and transforming how we see things and how we feel about something and how we're presenting that out in our immediate environment because Mercury is in charge of the immediate environment as well as the communication piece that everybody speaks about. So if you don't know enough about Mercury, go search it out and you'll get lots of good information about that. So next step is what is going on in what house? So, and the houses will be representative of your zodiac sign. So that is next. Okay, so Aquarius. What we got going on here for you, because we'll, let's see where this is located. So all of this Capricorn energy is located in your solar 12th house. So Mercury retrograde, oh, by the way, is on January 5th. I don't think I mentioned that before. I gave you lots of other dates, but not when it actually goes retrograde. And that's a day when things just sort of go standstill. This goes on in your solar 12th house. And with Mercury retrograde in the solar 12th house, you know, you know, secrets can come up. Things that we keep from others can come up. And come out during a retrograde of Mercury all right but that's not always the case but you can also take things that go on behind the scenes or while we're sleeping so you can take dreams work with your dreams in a really important way and that 12th house also represents where we're inspired and inspiration okay so take all of the information I gave you and know that it comes from the 12th house all right I want to move on to Jupiter Jupiter is retrograde on January 7th and on the retrograde day it makes a conjunction to the North Node and that is inspiration and that is working with our life path and that is opening intuition and opening you know the you know the spiritual realm and all of those types of things you know being an Aquarius you know you guys just you, you know you are interested in humanitarian causes you're not necessarily interested in individual human causes, but humanitarian, individual people causes, but humanitarian causes tend to be important for you guys. And you're good at, you know, kicking up the dust and getting people moving, you know, so we can create new things. When we have Jupiter and the North Node conjunct like this, um, and it's going on in your solar eighth house, which is about transformation. 
So this whole energy of the retrograde of Jupiter right here is all about transforming um, something in your life that needs a kick, needs a boost. Now this area, while it's all about transformation, some of the stuff that transforms is a financial piece. You know, whether it, we're uh, needing to pay off a lot of money, needing to uh, deal with an inheritance that's happening, something here is going on for you guys. But if you take it to a, a more spiritual level, to allow it to be in a place that is more spiritual and allow the energy to flow better, which I'm not feeling yet. <laughs> I'm not feeling in this one. But if you allow the energy to flow, then uh, the aspect between Jupiter and this North Node will be very beneficial for you. All right? Because I see this as, you know, that Jupiter North Node piece is, is very intuitive and very, very psychic. And it, it gives us an opportunity to step up in our lives to a little bit, to a more spiritual place, if that's something that interests us. All right, so be inspired, and you might even just be inspired in your finances and not even be interested whatsoever in, uh, in intuitiveness and any of those things. Anyways, I want to move on. Venus in Sagittarius um, is there the whole month, most of the month. And while Venus is in Sag, that's very adventurous, very fun. We're looking for fun in our relationships, whether we want a new one. The one we're currently in needs a little extra fire to, to get things going. Either way, and even the things that we value, right? All of that stuff is very, very important for us while Venus moves through the sign of Sag. Now, she also makes a conjunction to Saturn this month, and when she does that, that's when we kind of get a little more serious, a little tighten the purse strings a little bit more. We become interested in having a committed relationship with somebody if that's the right path. Somebody might be pressuring us to have a committed relationship with them, might not want to do it, or you might do it out of fear, fear of being alone. Whoever wants to be alone, most people don't. So this is how we get with this Venus, Saturn, let me set this down, and uh, connection in January. We're feeling, we could either be feeling that we're ready to commit to somebody that we haven't had an opportunity to do yet, or we're not going to because we're afraid of it in some way. All right? Whew. That's crazy stuff. It's not crazy, but it's 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 difficult sometimes to work with Venus and Saturn together. It's, but, but mainly, it's about people wanting just those that serious, mature relationship, or they want their finances to settle down. Some right. The two cards I picked for you guys. I used John Holland's deck. Um, it's just a it, it is an oracle deck similar to tarot. And I got the Rest and Rejuvenation card, right? And then I also got the card that says uh, Partnerships and Alliances. I think this is awesome because it, this is speaking to the Venus Saturn that I just talked to you about astrologically. Partnerships and Alliances, Venus. That's Partnerships and Alliances. And um, that's Partnerships. The Alliances actually is the piece of, uh, is, is what Saturn is. So working hard. Putting, de putting together a relationship or a partnership might be something that you're actually looking for this month. It goes on in that solar 11th house for you guys too. So that represents um, the group endeavors that uh, Aquarius is always so in uh, interested in having and, and being part of, okay? And the rest of rejuvenation, basically what that represents is like don't push yourself. If you have, you know, if you have too much to do, make sure you take that time and rest because when Saturn moves through certain sectors of our charts, um, if we're not taking better care of ourselves, we will become ill and we'll have to rest whether we want to or not. So take good care. This is a little bit of a heads up. Take good care of yourself and that will happen. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you for watching. Come to my website, nhastrologer.com. I have contact me for personal sessions, private sessions, online classes. You must have Skype for that. Well, for anyways, if you don't live in the country, you definitely got to have Skype. And I also have a mentorship program that I uh that I'm just putting out there and I have eight spaces available for that. So if you're interested in learning one-on-one -on -one with me over the internet, then I have eight spaces. So email me if you're interested. First come, first serve. All right? For the first 6 months of the year. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very grateful. And uh, please share with your friends and family. And subscribe. Lots of love. Namaste.